<laughs> Hello, welcome back to the vlog. It is a Monday today, which means it's technically our off day today. We just won our game against San Diego on Sunday. We took two of the three games this weekend. 3-1 pitch. Fly ball right field. This is hit deep. It's way back there. It is gone. That's a two-run walk-off home run. And the USF Dons have won the ball game and won the series. I already had weights this morning. I had to get up at 6. I had to be on the line ready to go warm up at 6.50. And then we had weights from then until 8. We don't have to go to the field. It's technically optional. Usually I like to take this day to just relax and recover as much as possible. Some guys though, they like to go to the field and get in some extra work while they have the free time. But now I'm going to go see my trainer, get some recovery in, and do some contrast with the hot and cold tubs. <laughs> They've been doing some construction here for a while now. I think they're building a new basketball like practice facility or something, I'm not sure. But they took down a ton of trees. Like we usually have a ton of those kind of trees up there and they were all scattered here, but they just wiped everything out, took it away completely. Oh, oh hello. What's up? All right, see you guys. Um, yeah, anyway, so they just cleared out all of this stuff and I'm pretty sure they're putting in a new practice basketball gym or another facility, maybe even some batting cages for the baseball team. Surprisingly, there's nobody here. So either everybody else has already finished with their work today or I'm early. Now I'm gonna change into some shorts so I can get into the hot and cold tub. Right there, I'm gonna do one of those cool jumping transitions. Perfect. Just got to the training room right now. Um, my trainer basically told me that he wants me to get in the hot and cold tub, like I already mentioned before in the video. But after that, he wants to do a full flush on my entire arm, which means like he's just gonna get his thumb and dig into there as hard as possible. Also this past week when I've been throwing, every time I would throw and release a baseball, I feel like my entire arm would like vibrate, kind of like a funny bone sensation, but like from my pinky to the top of my shoulder right here. So we've been doing some like nerve stretches that would like help that issue out and ever since then it's been feeling good so we're going to continue to do that after the hot tubs but i'm going to get into the hot and cold tubs right now so i start out with like three minutes in the hot tub then i go two minutes in the cold tub then i keep doing that back and forth until i reach about 10 minutes total between the hot tub and the cold tub once i've done that then i'll spend five extra minutes in the hot tub for those of you who are watching and you're not subscribed there are about 70 something percent of you who aren't subscribed and you're watching my videos so if you're watching them subscribe like come on tell them to subscribe you gotta get in the frame yeah, yeah. though sub to jesse thank you How many games have you played? Seven games in ten days. And how's your body feeling? Very sore. <laughs> Just finished with all the treatment for today, so I'm done. Now I'm gonna go home, catch up on some homework, do some assignments, play some video games, and yeah. <laughs> Just got back from the training room. My day is pretty much done. I just have class from 6 p.m. to 10, 10 at night. So I'm not excited about that class. At least I get to relax for the rest of the night. I don't have anything else to worry about. I have a few more assignments that I need to do right now just to make sure I'm caught up with all my assignments and I'm ready to go for the rest of the week. Tomorrow we play another midweek game. That's against San Jose State. Gonna throw a bullpen on Wednesday in anticipation that I'm going to start again on Sunday. So yeah, now I'm gonna start working on some of my assignments.
it's a Tuesday now. Uh, this is after I finished studying and all of that stuff. Um, didn't really have much else to film for the rest of the day. So transition to Tuesday. Tuesday we had a game for San Jose State. We ended up losing a close one. It was two to four. So now the game's over. I'm going to go back to the field and my roommates, Tyler and Ryan, are at the field right now. So I'm going to go to the field, hit with them, take some ground balls and get some footage. The thing about pitching is you don't really get to hit once you get to the college level. I haven't swung a baseball bat in probably two or three years. So I'm gonna do that, take some ground balls too. Yeah. yeah, that'll Content. be it. That'll be it. Came down to the field hoping I can swing a few off the tee. Definitely not gonna take any off the machine. Also, I've never hit a home run in my life, so that just shows you how bad I am at hitting. Oh. Okay. Not bad. Dude, pitching is so stressful. I don't think. Dude, that shit. Pitching is way easier than hitting. You gotta see. You gotta have good vision to hit. Dude, I don't understand how you throw a ball in 90 miles an hour. After trying to get into the batter's box and hitting 92 or 90 plus, I truly think baseball is one of probably the hardest, definitely the hardest sport to try playing over basketball easily, soccer easily, football easily. That's gonna end it for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Posting every Saturday. Comment down below what videos you want to see. That's gonna end. All right, vlog's over.